Hey guys, welcome to HPS and today we're doing something a little different. Uh, we wanted to make a quick little video for you guys to show where, how and where HPS started. So if you see this building behind me, that is actually the original, I guess, birthplace of HPS Performance Exhaust. And uh, if you look around here, this shop was here before any of the homes. And so we were out in the middle of the country, out in the middle of the field by ourselves when my dad started this company. And uh, in fact, right here, there used to be a little dirt runway in the farmer's field. And my dad, on occasion, when he wanted to go fly, he would take off and land in front of the shop out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, times change, and in this case, probably for the better. And neighbors moved in and uh, kind of pushed us out, and we moved to one place, and now since have moved to another place. So we've moved twice since since we've uh, been working out of here. I want to show you around a little bit. So the reason why we're making this video now is I don't think we'll have another opportunity. This shop and the property next to it has actually just been sold. And we are uh, in the process of cleaning this old shop out. It's a mess. <laughs> So as the neighbors moved in, uh, dad and mom owned this part next to the shop and just never developed it. But it looks like the neighbors had fun building a little neighborhood dirt bike track out there. <laughs> it didn't bother them at all. It was just kind of fun to see them play while we were working. sign. Where's that upside down? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. So check out the original sign we had hanging on the building. HP Sports. Air, water, snow. So to explain the air a little bit, before the snowmobile exhaust actually took off big, my dad was actually one, a number one Rand's aircraft dealer. And so he actually built airplanes out of this shop before we started building uh, snowmobile exhaust. High performance sports, and then it went HP sports, and then eventually it branded to HPS, and that's, that's what stuck, and that's what the Solgo community called our product. So that's where the HPS came from. High performance sports, HP sports to HPS. Okay, so right now the shop is filthy okay when we were working in it it wasn't filthy it it did get crammed towards the end of us working here just obviously because we outgrew this place we were busting at the seams uh office space right here that was designated office this right here was designated welding Right here is where we had a welding table. I would sit every day after school, strike the welder, and start welding, 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 welding. It's trying we had... to make you feel sorry for them. Oh, whatever. Every high school kid needs a good job. <laughs> we had a, a plate roller on the bench right there. We'd stack the plates on that shelf. We would uh, do all the shipping on this side. Had the band saw for cutting steel. Um, old dyno room actually back over here. This is where we would halfway makeshift the dyno room slash painting. Did a couple of test coating with the, the mufflers in here. So the size of this building, we've since uh, grown to another building, which is probably, I don't know, what would you say, equivalent of 10 times bigger than this. And we've also set it up uh, to where we can grow uh, even bigger. We can double, triple, 
quadruple the size of our current building that we're in um, just because we're preparing for growth and uh, planning to expand and it's all thanks to you guys well, just to give you a kind of more of an idea of the size of this building it's a 40 by 60 and it was a it was everything my dad could really dream of at the time never before he ever, ever imagined seeing HPS getting as big as it did we all worked out of here every day worked our butts off and just took it to the points to where it was busting out the seam one uh, side note if you notice we don't have a bathroom in here <laughs> so but that didn't matter during that time we were out in the country so it was just basically oh, okay so take a leak outside no it's okay no, no. yeah erase yeah that. erase that part <laughs> it turned me into the help you can't that was 15 that was 15 years ago it doesn't matter so these shelves are kind of full of old car parts but we would stack all the inventory that we had finished that was ready to go out we'd stack them on here as well as big boxes full of them and we would we would just ship out of this little corner here and uh but like a lot of times when companies grow um they just the old places they just kind of get forgot about turn into a big storage place is what's kind of happened here um but for those of you guys following us on instagram and facebook we just thought we'd take this opportunity it's our last chance to show you guys where hps came from and we also want to just express our appreciation to all of you guys hps wouldn't be where it's at without our customers and our dealers our riders and uh we just want to say thank you and uh, thanks for riding and following HPS. So, so yeah, you guys out there really truly built HPS for us. We did all the hard work, grinding, welding, making the product, but without our valued customers, we wouldn't be where we are today. So we owe a lot to our customers. Yep. Thank you. See you guys. Thank you.